and, and it, it's like the car was just pulling all the way to the right hand side oh the fact that Roman Grosjean has survived that crash is not only miraculous, but quite frankly, marvellous as well. That, yeah, that is he, just horrendous. He's still trapped at that point in the, in the flaming chassis. But Roman decided to come across the pack, look, and that, that's, that Danny Kvyat couldn't do anything about that. And he met a barrier that was coming towards the track at about 30 degrees. Just a misunderstanding in the pack there because there was, they were basically ahead of Romain Grosjean there. They were tripping over each other a little bit, so he steered right to go around them, but he wasn't clear of the Alfa Tari on his inside. On board sure now with this. Romain Grosjean. And this, uh, the start of the race, just obviously you're with us, you're in seeing these pictures, but if you're just switching on your TV now, just to warn you that there is an impact coming up with the barrier. Is, I don't think it's going to look very pretty at all. Kimi Raikkonen going off the track on the left-hand side now. Grosjean goes across, and thankfully, we freeze it right there. We don't want to see uh, the impact. We really don't. And Roman Grosjean having to hurdle away from the scene of a, of a big fire. And that's the medical delegate yeah. who starts in the Mercedes estate at the back of the grid. So they've been able to stop immediately. And look at that, that looks like Alan van der Merwe, the medical car driver, with the, the uh, Do Dr. Ian Roberts as well. And then Bay he's that van der Merwe. It's left Kimi Raikkonen back in 16th place, Kimi Raikkonen. Raikkonen, the key so much. Rückwärts steht da voll drin und weißt du was der, der knallt aber anschließend rein, also nicht mehr wo die Safer Barriers sind. Mhm, schon hat, in die Mauer. Ja, der hat die harte Mauer erwischt. Ein paar haben da wirklich Glück. Wie du der sagst. Weber reagiert unglaublich gut, dass der ums Wrack kommt. Der trifft ja fast noch Coltard rechts. Jetzt hat Ralf Schumacher den Helm abgenommen bekommen, ist nach wie vor im Auto. Hier nochmal die Zuspielungen. Hier ist das Bild. Da er wird jetzt mit dem Sitz geborgen. Aus Sicherheitsgründen macht man das. forte demais, o carro guina para a direita, é a hora que eu, eu corrijo ele, ele volta para cá e ele... E como o próprio Sid Watkins me, me falou, eu morri por seis minutos, né? eu engoli minha língua na pancada, então 90 Gs. Pace setters make the most of the start, with Montoya leading Ralph Schumacher. Michael made a dreadful getaway. He's a potential and unavoidable hazard. 
Luciano Berti's Prost is a wreck, but at least it's still the right way up. Michael Schumacher's Ferrari also has terminal injuries. Two damaged cars and plenty of wreckage leaves the ball firmly in the court of race director Charlie Whiting. The miraculously unscathed crash partners contemplate a very brief Grand Prix, but they'll get a second chance as the race has been stopped. An anxious Alain Prost watches as Luciano Berti gets too close to Irvine with the worst possible result. Irvine emerged unscathed and helped the marshals in the desperate scramble to get medical aid to the Brazilian. Sensibly, the race is stopped while Bertie is transferred to a local hospital. Vuelta 44. El coche de seguridad sale a pista. Demasiado tarde. Vistas las consecuencias, sí. Dos vueltas antes, Bianchi trazaba perfectamente la curva, pero el coche que iba detrás, Sutil, se iba contra las protecciones. Al completar otro giro y cuando están retirando el primer monoplaza, sucede el accidente. La tragedia es un cúmulo de mala suerte, pero el protocolo marcado por la Federación Internacional de Automovilismo se sigue al pie de la letra. Este hombre es el director de carrera. Él, según su criterio, es quien decide cuándo sacar el coche de seguridad, las banderas amarillas o las rojas para parar la carrera.